really smart, fun, unique, and beautiful girl. And swoon. Be still, my beating heart. That was a clip from Netflix's latest teen rom-com, Tall Girl. It dropped September 13th. The film follows Jody, the tallest girl in high school, who's always been very insecure about her height. But all that changes when she falls for the handsome and taller Swedish foreign exchange student, as you do, and gets thrown into a surprise <laughs> love triangle. Uh, joining me now is the leading man who plays Stig in the film, Luke Eisner. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, of course. Um, first off, congratulations. This oh, is your first feature you. film. Yes, sir, yeah. What was that like? Tell me about getting the role. Were you excited? Were you nervous? Oh, no, I was thrilled. I mean, anything but nervous. I mean, I got the script, and I was just so blown away that they were making such a nice film. And, I mean, to be a part of a coming-of-age film mm -hmm. is just um, an honor. I mean, we got so lucky with that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I... I really just feel lucky to be a part of it on the first go around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you talk about you know the coming of age movies. Right. I mean, gosh, they're, they're almost right. instant classics. That, yeah, exactly. There's like a bit of immortality to them. You know yeah, I mean? absolutely. Yeah. Well, right. and especially for Netflix because they've yes. had some success at this. Yes. You know, uh, to all the boys I've loved before. Course, Have yeah. you felt? Did you feel any pressure? You know, it, uh, Noah Centineo became a oh, giant right. celebrity overnight right. because of this movie. You know, yeah. the coming of age thing on Netflix. Did you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Netflix picks really talented people, and mm -hmm. so I mean, I feel you know very special to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, there's never it's never a competition. It's a different story for every right. every film. Yeah. So I'm just happy I was able to be a part of this one. Now, yeah. where are you from? I'm from Wisconsin. You're from Wisconsin. I am from Wisconsin, yes. You don't have that, that like, Wisconsin sound. Yeah, no, no, thank goodness, yeah. <laughs> but it, it, was that, like, an accent you had to no, use? No, it's, it's funny, because we're actually, um, my mom sent me, I, I was valedictorian in my high school, and I was watching the speech, and I had the accent. Mm -hmm. And I lost it in L.A., I think, just by knowing people who weren't from the Midwest. Sure, it happens, um, yeah. But it's, it's nice, because every t once in a while, I'll meet someone, I'm like, you're from the Midwest. It's yeah. like a comforting sound, but... Uh, well, I was going to ask, yeah. if, well, and the Wisconsin thing makes it even more impressive, but yeah. it's like, how did you pick up the Swedish accent? How, what yeah. was that like? Um, you know, I loved Avicii. Um, I mm -hmm. thought he was a very talented musician, and um, I always looked up to him as a musician myself, mm -hmm. and I watched his interviews, and he had that Swedish accent, of course. Um, and so I kind of mimicked some of his characteristics, and then Netflix got me a coach to, to oh, very the rest cool. of the way. Yeah. Yeah. And so we, they would literally like work with you and practice. Yeah. The so accent? there was there was this young woman from Sweden who would hop on and, and read the lines with me and, and would sign off mm -hmm. if she thought it was good or not. That sounds like a potential rom com right there. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, I want like my coach. Swedish tutor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, what was it like to work with uh, Ava Michelle and Sabrina Carpenter? Like we know uh, that Ava, yeah, fantastic. You know, she is the tall girl yes. and and was kind of pushed out of Dance Moms right. because of that. Right. Did she talk about any of that with you? Yeah. I mean, I mean, well, we've had a lot of good heart-to-hearts together because, I mean, the film is so centered around self-love and mm -hmm. anti-bullying, and we both have been bullied growing up, and so there's a lot of connecting there, and um, Sabrina's fantastic. They're both just really great people. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, they're very talented actresses and, and singers, but, I mean, as people, they're incredible, mm -hmm. and that's, I mean, can't get better than that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, the movie, you know, it's all about... Jody's insecure right. about her height, which is a, a very understandable thing. Yeah. Um, valedictorian of your high school, that's impressive. Oh, were, were there things that were there things that you were insecure of about? Of course, her? absolutely. I mean, I always had longer hair. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I grew up in a town with a lot of buzz cuts and things like that. Sure. And, um, I mean, it's always made fun of being tall and skinny, and people say I look like a girl and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And um, yeah, but but you realize as, as you get older that those things don't really matter right. that's what makes you stand out you know what i mean kids are mean kids are mean kids unfortunately are, yeah kids are mean and it's like yeah. there seems to be this phase in, in life where we're really looking for things to pick other people apart of for, course and, and that winds up being and it never it. changes but you can you can change you know man um i was super jazzed when i read this you have a band called voila yeah that is yeah the, that is an excellent band name oh thank you we went through a lot of band names we used to be goldilocks because we yeah. both had blonde hair and thank goodness that is okay no that was thing. probably the smart move yeah we got Guys in a band, two oh, guys with yeah. long blonde yeah, hair called terrible. Goldilocks. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why we, we thought that was a <laughs> good not idea. not that bad, but uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but you have a song in the movie. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and, it, and, it, and I'm so happy about that. We had originally written the song, um, actually, for my father who's, who's struggling with cancer. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. But um, I rewrote the lyrics for the film because the last line was "Stand Tall," and I just—it was such a nice experience for me to rework it and help um, mm -hmm. people like find a, a piece for the film that. 
that really talked about loving yourself and, yeah. and, and getting over these things. Yeah. Um, for anybody listening right now, what does Voila sound like? I know you've got an EP yeah. coming out. You've worked with Lexi Pantera. Yeah, yeah. I know that last song, Mamacita. I'm really happy about that. But um, we have an EP coming out called Deja Vu, and it's kind of um, an exotic pop kind of song. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I would say that we try to, like, when you listen to the EP, you're going to get your emotional passport stamped. You know what I mean? We're taking you to different parts of the world, different stories that we've been through, and kind of just um, telling you some of our experiences that we've had. Did you make the EP before the movie? We actually made it. Uh, it's That's a great question. I wrote most of it on set, actually. And mm -hmm. then I would Skype Gus in, and then oh, we, cool. would, we would work. So most of the stuff on the EP was written in New Orleans. Well, I was going to ask, because yeah. like, you've got Sabrina Carpenter right there. Yeah. Is there right. like, how are, we gonna, are you going to try to make some music with her? Or I, like... I would love to if our schedules line up. I'm yeah. sure we'll make it happen. Do yeah. you have any Do you have any like dream collabs? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I grew up loving the Goo Goo Dolls. You know what I mean? And it's one of those bands that you don't hear enough about. Right. I'd love to, love to keep working with them. But I love Sam Hunt. I love country music. Oh, there you go. And I think he's the best lyricist around. So if you're watching Sam Hunt this morning, please. <laughs> look, look, Cassie will come and nerd out with you about country music. Oh, really? Music. Great. Big, big, big good, fan. Good. Um, so a couple weeks ago, yes. this man, okay, I love The Little Mermaid. That When that yes. movie hit, I was the right age, yes. um, and I, I loved the original so much. And a couple weeks ago, you told E.T. at Vanity yes. Fair's Best Dressed List Party uh -huh. that you auditioned for Prince Eric. I did, yes. What's the details? I don't know. I mean, keep your fingers crossed, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's it's that's a dream to well, be a part of that. Was that, did you... Let me, uh, and if you can't answer this, you yeah, can't answer it. But right. did you know going into it that it was Prince Eric for The Little Mermaid, or was it real I, secretive? I did, I did know, yeah, and because there's singing involved in it. Oh, so yeah. I, I knew the song, and yeah. I mean, yeah. did it freak you out? Like, no, that's, I, that's I was... A, that's such so, a big role. Yeah, but I was so thrilled. I mean, just to even be in a room like that and just oh, to for be sure. considered for a project, um, that's just so wonderful. I grew up watching that movie all the time. Absolutely. I, I the biggest crush on The Little Mermaid, so it was yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. And listen, Ariel... Yeah. Great. Um, you've modeled for, for designers like Ralph Lauren, H&M, yes. Calvin Klein. Um, do you have any any big campaigns coming up? Uh, we have another Ralph campaign coming out. I've, I've loved working with them. Um, mm -hmm. It's been a good year with them. And, uh, yeah, we had a great time at Fashion Week uh, with Ralph as well. And, and uh, yeah, so you never know. I mean, these, these things come and, come and go. And, We'll see who uh, picks up the phone next. What do you think? I mean, uh, this is a question I hate to yeah. ask. No, but please I do. ask it. Like, uh, is, do you do you feel the same about modeling and acting? Is do you have a preference for one over the uh, that's other? That's a great or? question. I, you know, I think they're all avenues to storytelling. I mean, mm -hmm. growing up, I always thought I was going to be an author, mm -hmm. um, and so in a way, I feel like I still am because mm -hmm. with acting, you're telling a story. With fashion, you're telling a story, and then with music, of course, you're, you're storytelling as well. So, I don't have a preference. I just feel like they're they're just different ways to the same end. Um, I know that you're in this film, mm -hmm. uh, then you're also going to be in Family Reunion, which yes. is another Netflix sitcom. Yeah. So you're like getting it's in with the Netflix family. I love Netflix, yeah. They're right? fantastic. They're the kindest people, yeah. Do you have like a favorite Netflix show or favorite Netflix star you'd want to work with? I mean, oh, you know. wow. Lana yeah. Condor, yeah, Noah Centineo, all of these great yeah, names. Yeah, I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to work with them all. I mean, I, I think I'm like everyone. I like to go home and turn mm -hmm. on Netflix and, and see what they have going, and they... They never skip a beat, do they? No, no, yeah. they don't. It's Fantastic. crazy how yeah, they drop stuff left and right. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So yeah. uh, I have a really fun game that I want to play. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I, I heard that you're a uh, Nicholas Sparks fan. I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, I am. we're going to play a little game called Leading Man Taller Than. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> 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 okay, look, oh, so here's play. the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to hit you with a movie and the star, okay. and you're going to tell me if you think that you're taller than them or not. Oh, man. All right. All right. Of Nicholas Sparks movies. Yeah. You okay. ready for this? I'm, I'm so ready. Let's okay. Play. <laughs> Question number one. Uh -huh. uh, Shane West from 2002's A Walk to Remember. Oh, yeah. Are you taller than Shane? Uh, yeah. He was quite young in that film, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, the, you're absolutely correct. Oh, yeah. You're at six foot two. Shane's six feet tall, so that's kind of close. Oh wow! I wouldn't even thought that. So, yeah, you, you know. thought he was a little, yeah. little, was a little shorter. Than that. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Not bad. No. Well, well done. Well done. Look, here we go. Yeah. Uh, question number two: Who is taller, um, Liam Hensworth from 2010's oh, The yeah. Last Song, or you? Well, Chris is pretty tall. Yeah, he's he's got to be what six three. Um, Liam Hemsworth. 6'3". So he is 6'3". Boom. All right, so he's tall. Wow. Yeah. Do you talk? Is there a club? Then you guys share oh, yeah. this information Oh, yeah, exactly. It's, it's a text thread. 
It's no. you're all in a you're all in a texture. <laughs> okay, sweet. Uh, no. Oh man, I feel like you're gonna get this one quick. We'll Who's taller, uh, you or Channing Tatum from 2010's Dear John? Oh, Mr. John. See, Tate's um, a tall guy. No, that's, that sounds like you're trying to trick me. I think he's probably 5'11", five eleven, six foot. Uh, he comes in at 6'1". Oh, but you right. are I taller, taller than him. him. You yeah. still got this. Yeah, yeah. Man, you're three for three. That's right. Um, here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> Who is taller, you or Scott Eastwood from the 2015's oh. The Longest Ride? He plays Luke, right? That's his yes. character name. Um, oh, bonus points. Yeah, he's, uh, he's shorter than me. But, <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's shorter than you. At 5'11", you're definitely towering. Oh, over. yeah. Over uh, Scott Eastwood here. Put some here. heels on me. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> um, okay, uh, Ryan Gosling from... Tw- He's shorter than me. He's <laughs> Ryan Gosling. Come on. <laughs> Have you ever stood next to Ryan Gosling? No, but I've, I've seen him yeah. at a restaurant and sitting down at your Yeah, me. you could yeah. absolutely dunk on Gosling. Yeah, of course. Uh, here we go. Who's taller? Josh Demel from 2013's Safe Haven, are you? Oh. I don't know, actually. Ooh. Maybe the same height? Really? No, he, I don't know. You're out. I haven't seen enough of him to know. Yeah. It's Safe tricky. Haven was great, though. That's one of the best books, too. Um, mm, he's shorter. He's shorter. <sighs> You're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. Um, yeah. Oh, he's oh six no, he's four. taller. He's six Dang, four. All right. I'm he sorry. Snu- he snuck up on me. Demel's going to dunk on you. All right. I apologize. Sorry. Man. Sorry, Josh Demel. Here we go. Last one. Who's yeah. taller? Taller, tall girl co star Ava Michelle. <laughs> or you. I'm sure you know um, the answer to that. Well, I mean, she wore some pretty big heels to that premiere. She's taller than me at the mm-hmm. premiere, but mm-hmm. uh, she is shorter than me. But flat-footed shorter than you. Yeah. There it is. Man, you got him. But she's the real deal. Look at six one and a half. Wow. Close. E.T. live with the accuracy. Listen, we come with <laughs> statistics and facts and numbers. As you should. <laughs> Thank you. You're and you're a lot taller than me, by the way. Man, oh. am I shrimp yeah. five foot eight? No, no. Golly. But look, sitting we're the same height. Sitting, same you're height. absolutely yeah. right. <laughs> man, Luke, thanks so much. Yeah, you were a blast, Thank man. you so Cheers. much for coming.